Hey guys, what's going on? It's ya boy, Daily Tactics here, and we are back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. But I would argue this is a very, very special episode, as this is a huge battle. Like, seriously. So there's this Republic base on, what is it, Nimbon? Nim, Nim, let me check. Mimbon. <laughs> okay, Mimbon. Um, and it has all the bells and whistles. It has AV cannons. It has uh, these small anti-tank turrets. It's got trenches. It's got, um, you know, it's got nice little barracks here for the clone troopers. It's got ATTE tanks. It's got LAATs. Um, it has just this row of mortars over here, which is, I, well, who needs this many mortars? Um, and uh, even over here, it's got more ATTEs, more trenches. Another ATTE over here, more platforms, more bunkers, things like that. This is an all-out defensive position here, and as you can see, it's been attacked a few times um, by the CIS, as you can probably tell here. We've got some downed ATTEs, we've got some downed AATs, downed craft. Um, so this has been an ongoing war on Mimbon that uh, both sides have taken a beating. But the droids have landed their largest force yet. They've got um, a ton of AAT tanks, they've got spider droids, they've got commando droids, they've got standard B1 battle droids, they've got rows of B2 battle droids, they got more security droids over here that were dropped off from these MTTs, uh, more dwarf spiders over here, even more droids, so really, this is a full-on planetary invasion here that the clone troopers are going to have to defend, and who's better to do this job than the 104th Battalion the Wolf Pack with Commander Wolf as their leader. Here's Wolf right here. So, uh, this should be just an absolutely epic battle. I'm so excited for this. Um, expect lots of lag because there's so many troopers on the field right now. I, my poor computer is going to have a heart attack. Um, but without further ado, guys, I'll be right back and we'll get this started. All right, you bad Larrys, I think we're ready to go ahead and press start. The clones are getting amped up for their defense here. They're seeing the enemy on the horizon, and they are excited. Um, and the first shot's getting fired. This could be laggy. Oh my god, clones already going down from pepper spray from, I think those were droid spider shots, maybe. That hit them pretty hard. The, uh, the AA cannons on those bad Larrys can do some serious damage. But we can see clone trenches still standing pretty tall in the front here I mean they're taking some vast hits this is the very initial part of the defense here so they're bound to go down pretty fast but we're seeing large explosions hitting the droid lines as well we're seeing super battle droids starting to go down um, standard b1 battle droids back here have gone down in pretty high numbers as long or as well as some commando droids which is good to see also uh, security droids from the left flank coming over to the right to support b2 battle droids doing a large push forward here Actually, a very large push. They're going, for the most part, without their army here. I forgot to mention, I also put some free-roaming clone troopers around the field, so these guys are able to just sort of uh, run around to whatever defensive they feel needs more support or, you know, retreat whenever they want to. I always find that to be kind of fun. Um, either way, the frontmost clone trooper trenches here are completely dead. Is this... No, this turret's dead now. There's only, like, three troopers left alive in this one... Uh, small area over here and even there starting to get a little bit of fire I think they were just lucky enough to be behind this big monster truck type of a thing They're actually getting a few b2 battle droid kills not bad oh that wrist rocket came close you gotta watch those watch those wrist rockets boys um, but the remainder of the clone defenses are still looking very very strong we're seeing uh, anti-infantry turrets going off we're seeing infantry itself rounding off their blaster rifles trying to hit some of these AATs which are making a push forward a pretty big push they're they're going without infantry support which is definitely a risky maneuver um ATTE tank manages to take this one out seems like all clone defenses are now being completely activated this ATT tank has racked up a few kills on some AAT tanks it does appear and more continue to go into its line of sight so it's gearing up to hit those pretty hard as well let's check and see how the mortars are doing uh, they might not be in range of the droid infantry quite yet, but I'm sure once they are, they will start rounding off pretty readily. Um, lots of the AAT tanks are sort of derping about back here. Lots of infantry hasn't really come super, super far forward. We've still got plenty of commando droids back here, plenty of standard B1 battle droids, and a ton of uh, these security droids, which I'm excited to see. 
in battle. Let's check in on the far left over here. So we're zipping on over this way. And we can see these B1 battle droids are in full conflict with uh, clone troopers in this trench line. These clones seem to be doing an excellent job of repelling the oncoming battle droids. They're doing a lot of killing and taking very, very few losses, which is obviously exactly what you want in a battle, believe it or not. I know, crazy. But they're doing a great job over here. The droids are getting caught out in the open with very, very little cover. Really, all they've got is a few rocks here and there. Their AAT tanks seem to be, for the most part, getting absolutely rolled. But they did manage to take out this ATTE tank over here, which is a big get. Killing that thing is pretty huge, to be honest. And uh, now the clones are crippled without their own tanks. They've got a few rocket launcher troopers in those bunkers, though. So they still have anti-tank capabilities that they can get through. Um, let's go into slow-mo because I want to sort of check on both sides simultaneously. Ooh, and we get to see an epic slow-motion explosion there. Be very, very beautiful. Um, the clones, who are just sort of free-roaming out here, still alive, still kicking, um, having not taken too many losses. That's kind of cool to see. And they're still rapid-firing off at... It looks like a dead AAT. Interesting choice of target. Um, just now, the remainder of the droid infantry seems to be coming forward for some reason they decided to send their tanks for the most part forward first and now they're sending what few tanks remain as well as uh, a lot of infantry forward to sort of try and finish off this battle here and they've got a good shot at it they've taken a lot of uh, clone troopers out they certainly could uh, manage to pull the W here and we'll, we'll see that in the future if they do manage to. Going back to this side over here, um, droids still taking a lot of fire out in the middle of the open here though they have it seems appear to have taken out the entirety of this trench here and then this second trench they're slowly working on as we see a clone buckle to his knees and fall down to his death. Um, I think the help of the AATs is definitely aiding them as some more AAT shots pour into these trenches here and get buckets of kills all at once. This Republic base over here is definitely in some trouble. They've still got a few uh, bazooka troopers, a few infantry troopers, but uh, for the most part they are crippled over here. Can't be saying the same for these guys over here as um, these clones seem to be in a much stronger position as another AAT tank bites the dust for the droids. Alright, let's go back into normal speed now. So, we have one side of the battle um, where defenses are lighter, going very, very well. We have another side of the battle where defenses are quite heavy and uh, the battle droids seem to be struggling to, to pave the way for their troopers to really come forward over here. Um, but it seems like that security droid reinforcement is sort of coming into play here. You've got an AAT tank on the left side over this way. Oh, and that ATT is very close to going down one or two more big shots from the... Uh, large AAT tan cannon can take it out and it does go down that's a big get for the battle droids right there that leaves only one ATTE tank left alive actually some of these uh, 104th battalion wolf pack troopers are beginning to push forward that's a risky play right there leaving the safety of their defensive region to uh, actually push the enemy is certainly a play I don't know if it's the right play but we'll certainly see another AAT tank coming forward over here and this one for the most part unopposed on this left flank over here besides the oodles of infantry and bazooka troopers but there aren't really any um, tanks over here to stop it except for oh I think that one does have the range to hit it and ooh, it gets shot down by a bazooka trooper regardless so didn't even matter Someone's, someone's focus firing on some trees back here. That is a strategy. This ATTE tank is now flaming. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the battle droids seem to be sort of stuck in this region of the battle. Um, unable to really proceed too far forward. But they got a few dwarf spiders coming uh, into close combat here for their, their battle. And this could make a big difference. Uh, spider droids are very, very powerful. Uh, we're seeing it miss a lot of its shots, which obviously doesn't help. Oh, I think, oh, a bunch just connected right there and tore some clones up. And these guys who were so far forward are now backpedaling um, to safety, it seems like, trying to get away from that sporadic fire. And the infantry is close behind these spider droids, trying to trail it and trying to uh, back up what they can. This one seems to be going for that ATTE tank, but no, it turns its attention this way. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> it's just tossing that dead juggernaut around like it's toast. <laughs> Alright, and that ATTE tank is taking an absolute wallop 
and still has not gone down. I'm interested to see if it will go down during this battle. That thing could very well just continue its reign of terror on the battlefield or at any point could, could bite the dust. I, I'm, really, I'm very invested in this ATTE tank's life. Um, but the spider droid keeps pushing forward. Instead of staying back and firing at it, it's, it's pushing the advantage and um, getting right in line with these clones in the in the trenches, and luckily for it, the clones don't seem to have any bazooka troopers, or else this thing would have been toast long ago. Instead, the clones have to use their standard rifle fire to try and take it out. Um, and I think that's what's keeping it alive so long. Um, and this one also seemingly getting very, very close. This one's actually shooting for the back, like, hills over here. Maybe it's gunning for, uh, wolf. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Just go for the Kamanda. Why not? Um, yeah, this thing is taking an absolute trashing right now. Um, and more security droids continuing to push forward with a few standard B1s mixed in there, and of course a couple of commando droids here and there, but the droid lines are certainly thinning as this uh, battle rages on longer and longer. They need to sort of play clean up now. Ooh, but they've got an AAT tank on the side here coming from this right side over this way. It seems like this uh, trench finally got completely cleared. And these droids are clearing the last remnants of clone troopers within um, the base over here. It looks like grenades are being thrown as, as these bunkers do their sort of last ditch defense and the clones sort of tuck away into choke point areas where they can quickly kill droids. So that's pretty interesting over here. This tank, still alive. That is, that is wild. Oh, this AAT did end up going down though. Can we get a rip and chat for the blue boy? Um, I did decide to use the... The blue variants from the uh, the animated series. I think those are pretty cool. And these dwarf spiders, the clones cannot take them out, and the dwarf spiders cannot take out the ATTE tank. So it's sort of a weird impasse here. But as soon as these dwarf spiders meet like a, uh, a bazooka trooper or some other form of heavy artillery, like even these guys back here, they will surely go down. So it's only a matter of time. Are these things still firing? I, I thought I just shot, saw a shot go out. Maybe. I don't know, that's kind of a far range. Who knows? Um, I'm so surprised that these warp spiders are still alive and that that ATTE tank is still alive. The, the real problem is the clones only have small arms fire to take these things out and that just doesn't cut it sometimes, you know? Um, Alright, let's move over here and it seems like the clones are doing a, a nice little job defending over here. We're seeing some droid bodies pile up as... Um, droids try and crest over the hills. They finally did take out that bunker right there. And this bunker over here looks like they're down too. Ooh, big explosion. What on earth was that from? Oh, was that from that bazooka trooper? It might have been. This clone over here does bite the dust. Oh no, it's from that AAT tank. I see. Um, I hear a bloody scream. I think this clone might have just died. So how many does that leave? One clone here. Oh, and there is a clone left alive in that bunker right there too. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Boy. Alright. Nope. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna Alright, we gotta we gotta suicide run our our final boy on this left side. Come on, we gotta kamikaze him. Sudoku Yes <laughs> No oh okay. Well he got a couple kills in there. We had to do it for our boys. We had to. Alright, how's the main defense for Wolf going over here? Ooh! A dwarf spider finally going down, and with it, the explosion took out a multitude of the clones within that trench over there. That's kind of a shame to see. This trench is barely kicking with three troopers alive, and they seem to be focus firing on this dwarf spider, which might be malfunctioning here because it's kind of looking a little screwy. The loose wolf pack troopers over here once again advancing, though they're down to very, very few uh, soldiers amongst them. Not many Check at all left to uh, to sort of free roam here. And the battle droids themselves are seriously lacking in troop numbers. Um, are, are there troopers in here? What the heck are you? Guys, get what? <laughs> Out of the bunker. Out of the bunker. This is not playing the bunker time. This is war time. Alright, ooh, we got another AAT tank actually making the plunge this way. Oh, and that ATTE actually did end up going down. I never noticed that. Okay, well, we missed that. This AAT tank uh, taking fire from all the clone troopers in the bunker. Um, did that kill? 
Oh my god, they survived that blast? That's that's wild right there. Um, and that blast! I think that it, it's just hitting the edge of the bunker, and that is keeping these three clone troopers alive till the bitter end. That time, though, it took out two of them. Oh, but this thing goes down! I think uh, I think these troopers over here did enough damage to the uh, the hull for the, that guy to have managed to live. So, we're down to just infantry now? No, we have that one dwarf spider over here, which is broken. You can see the little wrench on its name, so that means it is broken, which is a shame. Um, we've also got all these droids over here still alive, and they're starting to migrate to the left now. So uh, the, the droids in the front here will be getting some flanking, um, flanking forces coming in to sort of save them a little bit, but they don't themselves have that many troopers left to, to continue to fight this battle. So things are looking a, a bit abysmal, and uh, more wolf pack troopers over here continuing to sort of sally forth, taking a bit more of a easy approach to it, just just sort of crawling forward. This would make a cool screenshot if this guy would turn just just slightly. No, you're gonna stand up. Turn, turn this way. Just a little. No. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, these guys are are pushing a little bit more. These droids still just sort of hiding around here. Some of them ended up on the ramp over there. Ooh, more shots going off. AV cannons taking a pot shot at these droids. Don't know if it ended up getting any kills there. And these droids, or these clones pushing further in. The wolf pack always showing off their bravery and courage. Come on, guys. Leave some for the rest of the clones. All right, and these two lads firing away. This is another cool screenshot. I like it. Neato. All right, I like I like collecting the screenshots to be honest. Ooh, I think an AV cannon must have hit around here and and did some damage to those droids. Still more coming in from the flank though. Should we try and see if we can repair this one? I don't think we can because it's it's not technically crewed by anything that could. Oh, did that? It still says it's broken, but it's moving now, so. I don't know if we did something, or... I think maybe it's cannon is broken, that's why it's not firing. Maybe it can walk, but it's cannon's broken. Either way, the flanking droid forces, who are triumphant on the left side over there, are coming in now. A few of them biting the dust early to some clone troopers, but I think they did manage to cop a quick kill right there. Um, so, if these guys over here are able to push the advantage while they've got flankers going on, though... Oh, these guys are all dead. There's one trooper left alive. Where is he? Oh, there's one machine gun trooper left alive over here in the very front. So it is now all up to the flankers. Let's bring this guy up to the trench for no reason, really. It is all up to the flankers now. About 30 droids, maybe? 30 or so? And uh, they got some good weapons, it looks like. I'm seeing some MGs, a few sniper rifles in there. Some standard E5s, which are pretty cruddy, but, I mean, I guess... The It'd be OP if they only had MGs and snipers, though. Um, and they're pushing forward. Meanwhile, more clones going in to check their... Oh, look at this guy. He's seeing the carnage of his brothers, and he's like, Oh, what have they done? How could they do this to us? He's uh, a weird Swedish-French mixture of... <laughs> I don't know, clone? I don't, I don't know. He comes from the French... Clone part of Camino. <laughs> Droids pushing further and further in here. They've taken this sort of radar base here and are getting some good shots off at the clone AV turrets over here, which have managed to stay alive during the entirety of this battle. Um, this left side really didn't see too much action. We're seeing completely intact trenches over here. I don't think these mortars even got a chance to fire. Um, or this cannon here. Like, the. Oh, this cannon's dead, actually. So this one did end up going down during the midst of battle, but the rest of these lads really didn't see too much action. Like, a few dead here or there, but other than that, like, not not too much. This was, like, the safe zone to be in. A couple droids pushing in a little bit further. Playing with danger. Let's see what they do. This guy's just got a regular E5. That's gonna do nothing at this range. I think the clones might be firing at the dwarf spider and not necessarily these droids back here. What the... Uh, okay. Did an AV-7 cannon, like, hit that thing or something like that? 
Otherwise, it just like turtled. Look at this old turtle buddy. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, yeah. The droids over here, a few of them I think are pushing this way, but getting gunned down possibly. Yeah, th I think this is uh, this is just about it for the droid assault. They'll continue to try, but at this point, I don't see much of a future for these guys. They're badly beaten, and they don't have enough troopers, I don't think, to take this base unless they get some like miracle grenades in there or something like that. Um, they came very, very close, though. I mean, maybe if they had one or two more AAT tanks, they could have actually done this, but. Um, they just didn't have that, that last final push I think they really, really needed to succeed here. Um, but yeah, for now they're just sort of cowering around here. Clones, uh, the free-roaming clones are actually pushing them pretty hard right now. Yeah. They actually kind of surrounded them. So they, they pushed in to the left over here. They've got um, a couple guys to the right over here and a, a few guys watching the flank from the trenches over here. So they're doing a nice little pincer movement on these battle droids. All right, should we... Let's go ahead and make all of the remaining clones free move mode. And that way they, they'll sort of come forward and... Um, Maybe get into this a little bit more. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of fun. Okay, there we go. So, the remaining clones should come forward. Actually, droids pushing out a little bit more. Um, getting a little bit more confident here. A few of them going down, though. I mean, these guys are completely surrounded at this point. They got themselves into a very weird position. Oh, but they, they are still getting a few clone kills, though. So, I mean, there's that going for them at the very least. They still have to go up against, like, AV can. There's no chance these 10, 15 droids at this point actually win this thing. Who's the droid that's way back here? There's one droid super far back here resting against the ATTE turret. All right, so um, all the clones are loose and free moving now. Seems to be a lot of confusion amongst them as to uh, how to advance in this battle. A few just sort of returning to the base. Alright, um, but a, a good amount coming forward. Here's Commander Wolf himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Commander Wolf. Alright, and a uh, big push over here by this trio. I <laughs> still haven't killed that dwarf spider. He must be pissing off the clones a considerable amount. <laughs> All right, well, they'll, they'll slowly get the advantage on these guys. We see uh, Wolf is, for the most part, playing it pretty safe here. They don't want to, like, totally suicide their guys in. If they can keep their clones alive, they certainly will. Um, oh, my God, dude, be careful with that rocket launcher. What on earth? Bruh. Yeah, the Wolf Pack is, is full on coming out of now. Floating box. Don't worry, it's Star Wars. Oh. Bruv. Oh, they're not dead, but still. Who is this bro? You need to stop. <laughs> Can you just, like, not? <laughs> Shoot your own guys with a bazooka? Alright, here come the clones. They really want this thing dead. I'm not sure if it can die, though. Alright, let's say they killed it, because it's... I don't... Th I think it's in, a, like, a broken state right now in the game, where... Like, something we did must have accidentally made it so it couldn't get destroyed. Alright, a few more droids over here. This clone was gonna go for the grenade, but he decided to run away instead. Wolf leading his boys around. There's actually a pretty sizable amount of droids over here, so they could potentially get some kills. Alright, I don't think the clones know exactly where they are, so we're just gonna push... Oh no, they're gonna go on their own. Cool. Oh, that guy goes down. A few more try and push in, but go down as well. Wolf and the rest of the pack, though, over here. The droids are actually trying to run. They're trying to run. Dudes. They're straight up just booking it. Oh, my God. Come on, you wimps. <laughs> Wolf and the remaining troopers. More troopers coming up, actually, right now. They want to get these kills. They want to... They're on the hunt. They're on the prowl. What happened to those running droids? They, they ran all the way back here. All right, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to do that. Come on. 
You have to accept your fate now. It seems like a few accepted their fate. A few actually popping out over here. Wolf and his boys trying to take him out. Grenade going out. Wolf dives out of the way. Ooh, manages to connect with one clone. But the rest push out a little bit more. Get a few more droid kills there. There's not many droids left alive. I mean... Ooh, that was a hit right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. More clones funnel in. Come on, guys. There's like... There's one MG gunner right there. There we go. He's dead. There's these three who ran away initially. And the clones spot them and start to fire at them as this sniper tries to get some shots off. See how that works out for you, buddy. Probably not very well. Now yeah, there goes him. And so there's this one trooper left. It's a kamikaze. Uh... <laughs> Oh, and there's this guy back here. I forgot about him. You know, you can be the one guy who has to go tell Count Dooku you lost. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the battle. Um, Commander Wolf did manage to defend quite bravely and quite well. Um, but he did take a lot of losses, so let's check those out. So, yellow are dead clone troopers. And as we can see, the Separatists certainly did a, a large number onto the defenses of the clones here. All around there's dead clones every which way. It's a bloodbath. But I mean, the droids definitely took more losses than the clone troopers. Some of the droid bodies might be gone because tanks ran them over. Like you see, there's like, there's guns here, but no droid bodies. That means the tanks ran them over and thus the bodies disappear. Same over here. And uh, a big example of it is over here. It looks like, I think maybe some mortar or AV-7 fire must have hit here and killed a lot of droids and then the tanks proceeded to run over the bodies so they're gone. Um, but either way, a pretty cool battle. I was pretty into it. I really like this map. I might be using it some more in the future because it's awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did and I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.